Kruger Marson with Kruger Marson Pianos. This is a <coughs> Yamaha U3, and uh, I've sold a lot of these pianos over the years for good reason. Um, namely, they're awesome. Um, I actually had a Yamaha U3 for a long time as my personal piano. I actually used it as my gigging piano. We, um, I played in the band for <coughs> a lot of years, and I kept a uh, Yamaha U3 in a trailer and whenever I had a gig I just took up the hook up the truck to the trailer and go take the piano. I didn't want to take an electric keyboard because I mean this is just amazing. This piano originally is a 1979 which uh, um, is kind of right in the middle. I, I said a minute ago that I've sold a ton of these probably um, several hundred over the years um, and that's that's pretty middle of the road, year-wise, 1979, and, um, and they hold up amazing. I, I very, very rarely get, uh, get any callbacks with all of those pianos that I have out in the community and have had for years and years and years. Very, very rarely do I get a call um, about even something as minor as a sticking key. In fact, I can't even remember the last time I got a call with any kind of complaint or concern. They just, they're just workhorses. They're just awesome. Yeah, not only they sound great, they, the touch is great, they just last forever. Um, so, so, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't recommend it more highly. The, uh, from, from what I understand, Yamaha claims that the, the U1, kind of the little, the smaller version of this piano, is the best-selling piano of all time. Um, and, and again, for good reason, it's just a, it's just a phenomenal piano, the, U, the U1. It's a 48-inch piano. Um, in fact, you can see those pianos that have those new arrival signs. We just got those in the other day. Um, and uh, you can see, well, and they're back-to-back -back with, with U3s this size. So this is 52 inches, which in the world of pianos, the bigger the better. And, and it very much bears out. That's why on stage you don't see a little tiny grand piano. You see a really long nine foot, sometimes even a 10 foot grand piano because the bigger the better. Bigger soundboard, more, more amplification, um, longer strings, but more importantly than those even is the design work. The, the bigger the piano, um, the more the, the designer, the person that does the blue, puts the blueprints together for the piano, more that designer um, has has leeway and, and can and can design things that are uh, um, pleasing to the ear. And so this is this is what you have also with with uprights. This is this is almost as big as they come. Um, pre pre depression, you saw panels that were bigger, but basically after after 1929-1930, you don't see panels bigger than this. This piano, brand new, is something like fourteen thousand dollars. Very, very expensive, and and uh, and we have it. It is functionally like new, cosmetically like new, and and we're um, well under half that half that cost. And there's no no doubt in my mind that this piano, based on experience, like I said, those hundreds of pianos that I have out in the community. Um, that this piano will endure very, very well for decades and decades to come. Um, so, it, in my mind, uh, a U3 like this, if, if, you're, if you're looking for a really, really nice upright, I don't know that there's um, a, a, better, um, a better value than a, than a piano like this. Okay, so, so of course, I said cosmetically, uh, it's in it's in perfect condition. Even even when you look very closely at everything, any any imperfections or blemishes have been totally polished out, and uh, and it's cosmetically in perfect condition. Even even things like the, the decal and the lock and the, uh, the pedals, all of those are are beautiful and and redone. And then on the inside. See, it's just in excellent condition. Um, the hammers are, are properly rounded, and things are clean, properly aligned. Everything's regulated, and it's just uh, it's just in great shape. Um, like
like I said, as close to as close to brand new as as it comes. And and cows, by the way, I'm sure that most people are are aware, but they they last forever. They last um, well before they before they totally die, um, 60, 80, 100 years. But uh, that said, you know they they have about uh, a life of, of giving excellent service of about 20 to 25 years. After which things need to be refurbished, like I was showing you, hammers reshaped and aligned, and things lubricated and regulated and all and you know tightened all of those kinds of things. And the cabinetry generally needs to be polished out at that point after having been used by maybe a number of children or or um, even even in a home where um, where, where things are, are really meticulously cared for. A piano like this is bound to, to have some, some imperfections. Um, so after about 20 or 25 years, it needs, needs that kind of work. And then you have another 20 or 25 years before those things need to be readdressed. Sounds like a U3 to me. Check it out. I think uh, I think you'll be pleased. The address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem. Thanks for watching.